Okay, uh, we're going to write again today. This is going to be fun. You're going to enjoy this. Uh, as we read our prompt, think about what we're going to do differently today than what we did before. Here's our prompt, and I'm going to pause while your instructor, uh, your teacher, has calls on a volunteer who has their hand raised to read what's on the screen. Okay, I hope I didn't rush you, didn't interrupt your reading, but uh, what specifically, there's lots of information there, what specifically are we going to write about? I hope you picked that we were going to write about how we would explain how to play our favorite video game to someone who had never played it before. That word write gives us a clue that that's specifically what we're going to write about. We'll want to choose a title and organize our thoughts around that particular subject. Now, what text structure will this narrative have? Will it be descriptive, as our what, what last one was? Um, cause and effect, sequential, uh, problem-based? What, what kind of text structure will it have? I hope you picked that it would be sequential. It would be a sequence, be in chronological order. Um, but we still want to organize our thoughts. We may want to look, use a different graphic organizer to organize our thoughts because it's not a, a bunch of different detail, a bunch of different description about something, but it's actually a process step by step. So we might want to use a little different pattern to organize our thoughts. This is what I'm using. I put the, I'm going to put the main idea and then the main steps below that. Now, we still want some richness. We just don't want one thing after another. So after we get the main steps, the main parts, then we're going to want to add detail, depth, interesting things about um, each of those steps uh, to give our writing interest. Uh, for example, uh, maybe I would tell Step one, I would tell how to set up the game, and I would tell all that I do to set it up. And then maybe I would tell what I do while I'm playing the game. And at the end, maybe I would talk about how I win and what happens when I win, something like that. But you're going to want to add details that um, give depth and interest to your writing. So uh, I'd like for you to uh, take this topic and make this brainstorming pattern, um, make this step-by-step -step graphic organizer to get your thoughts organized. Now, you're going to want to use transition words when you start writing, but well, these are different transition words than the ones we use for descriptive writing. These are um, like first, second, third, first place, lastly, after, afterwards, as soon as, last, before, later, Meanwhile, next, soon, then, while, during, finally. These are all uh, kinds of words that you would use to give the reader a clue that you're moving forward in time, that things are ordered in a sequence. Now, I want you to go ahead and do your brainstorming, and I want everyone to show their brainstorming before you start writing. After you get your brainstorming done, Get with a partner and get some feedback on it and make it as rich as it can be before you start writing. When your partner has seen it and given you feedback and the teacher has looked at it and said, ready, set, go, then you can start writing. And this is going to be fun to write uh, this article on how to play your favorite video game.